In this tutorial, we're going to do a really quick overview of Articulate Presenter 360 so that you can see what's included and then how to use it to build your e-learning courses. Here's a good example of a course built in Presenter 360. It starts with the PowerPoint slides, and as you can see, it looks nice and includes some animations. And you can see everything from inserted videos, engage interactions, scenario conversations, and a quick knowledge check. Now let's do a quick overview. Articulate Presenter 360 is an add-in to PowerPoint. So when you first open PowerPoint, you'll see an Articulate tab. And that's where you'll find everything you need to build your courses. On the Toolbar ribbon, you'll notice four main groups. Audio, Insert, Tools, and Publish. In the Audio group, you record or import your narration. And then you synchronize any PowerPoint animations to that. And then you can add annotations to your slides to highlight key information. You can also see that you can import pre-recorded audio and there's a simple audio editor to make some edits. Now let's take a closer look at the narration feature. Inside the narration window there's a toolbar on top that shows all of your features. And along the left side you'll see the PowerPoint slides. And then on the other side you'll see the PowerPoint notes for the selected slide. Many people use that for their slide transcript and they'll read that when they do their narration. And then at the bottom you can see the timeline. In this case, you'll see that the timeline shows an audio narration track and all of the annotations on the slide. There are also markers to indicate when the PowerPoint object animates. And you can easily edit the objects on the timeline by selecting one and then making your edits. You can move it along the timeline, you can shorten it, a lot of things that you can do. And on the toolbar above, you can see the option to record or import audio. And then you can synchronize your animations to that audio. And you can select and modify annotations. And it's really all very intuitive and easy to do. And we'll cover all of that in more detail in the other tutorials. Now let's look at how to insert things onto the slides. From the Insert group, you select and insert content into your slides. For example, if you want to add a quiz or interaction using QuizMaker or Engage, just select one of those options. If you want to add a character, click on the character icon to select and insert a character. You can see that there are dozens of characters with expressions and poses, and you also have some really cool filtering options to find just what you need. You can also insert video from file, websites, or your webcam. And you have the choice of inserting a video onto the slide or as a presenter in the side menu panel. If you have flash files or web objects, you can insert those as well. Presenter 360 also features a number of really nice looking and professional templates via the content library. Just select a slide and insert it into your course. And at that point, it's a PowerPoint slide and you can edit it like any other slide. The Tools group is where you modify slide properties. As you can see, there are a lot of things you can do with the slide properties, from controlling when the slide advances, whether or not to have previous and next buttons, and then which features to include in the player. And again, we'll learn more about this in the other tutorials. Now let's review the Publish section. In this section, you can customize the player, preview slides, and of course publish your course. To modify the player, click the player icon. This gives you a preview of the current player and access to all of the things you can modify on it. You can choose which features to display and where they're positioned on the player. In the menu section, you can customize what the user sees in the side menu. Sometimes you may want to add additional content to your course, such as a PDF or link to other resources, and you can do that by clicking on the Resource tab. Presenter 360 also has a simple glossary where you can add terms and definitions. And this can be accessed regardless of where the learner is in the course. And then of course you can customize the player's colors and labels. And you can determine how the player displays in the browser. In preview, you can preview a single slide, the next three slides, or a larger range of slides. And this will save you time because you won't have to publish the entire course just to preview the few changes made on one or two slides. Inside the preview window, you have the option to preview in desktop mode, or choose one of the tablet and phone modes to see what the course will look like on mobile devices and in portrait or landscape modes. In the mobile views, notice that the player switches from the desktop player to Articulate's responsive player, which optimizes the mobile experience for the user. 
When you're all ready to publish, just click the Publish tab. Make your selections and hit the Publish button. You can see that there are a number of publishing options. You can publish to Articulate 360 if you want to share the course or to solicit feedback via Articulate Review. You can also publish to web, Articulate Online, or to your learning management system. Despite the publishing feature you select, they all have similar options. You choose your title and description, and you select your published properties. By default, the course publishes to HTML5 with a flash fallback. That means the course is viewed in HTML5, but for older browsers that don't support it, the course is viewed via the Flash Player. However, you can select everything from HTML5 only to Flash only to meet your publishing needs. And of course, you can publish for Articulate's mobile player as well. If you publish for tracking with the Learning Management System, be sure to select your output options and then what you need to report and track, and then hit Publish and upload that to your LMS. Now that's a very quick overview of Articulate Presenter 360 and some of the core features available to you to build your e-learning courses. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to jump in the community and ask. We're always there to help you. And then watch the other tutorials to learn more about Presenter 360. You'll learn more about the features and authoring experience and how to use it to build your e-learning courses.